This is a primer on short range ratting for high DPS setups such as torps, blasters, autocannons, and pulses. With the info in this video, your short range setup can be optimized to rat more effectively. We start off making a bookmark approximately 150 kilometers to 200 kilometers from each belt. This is a lot of work, but if you do a lot of ratting, then it pays off in time. First, warp to one of your bookmarks that is more than 150k from a belt. Next, you pick an asteroid or a wreck near the rats and warp to it. This way you will be able to land on top of them and start using your short range weaponry immediately. In my case here, I cannot warp directly to an asteroid. I do see one further behind the rats though, so if I warp to it at a distance, I can land on top of them. I do this here, selecting 20 kilometers from the asteroid. I then proceed to destroy the rats. I would like to point out that I fit a micro warp drive in case I make a mistake and need to close range quickly. With practice, that seldom happens. Since this is a drone lands tutorial, I use a tractor beam to grab the compounds from the racks. I also use a salvage. Note that I do not wait for all the wrecks to salvage. It is inefficient to do so. Only salvage while you are still in combat with other rats. Once you are done, leave. Drop off the loot in a nearby GSC or corporate hangar array. And warp to your next off belt bookmark. Note that this time as I engage, I start moving away from the asteroid. I use inertia stabilizers in case I need to leave in a hurry, but no good will come of it if I get stuck on an asteroid. Always keep yourself in the clear, and if you're really paranoid, fight aligned. Sometimes the rocks are really hard to see, like in this picture. In fact, they are so tiny you may wonder if there is a belt there at all. You need a little help, so use the overview. I have another overview tab that I have set to a mining profile. I use this to select through a few potential asteroids in space and see where they are in relation to the rats. The rats were simply too far off, however, I do land pretty close, so I feathered the micro warp drive to get over to them. After I finish the spawn, I bookmark the spawn's location. If I see it there again, I can warp to them directly via the bookmark, instead of using an asteroid or a wreck. If 
you start collecting bookmarks of exact spawn locations, you will need some decent organization skills, such as a way to name your mini bookmarks. You have to do this, otherwise you will not be able to understand them. You will find that the rats have approximately three to four spots they always appear in, in each belt. They do not appear completely random in space, but rather randomly at these predefined spots.